Hello, Randy Rain here, and oh yes, it's the Teddy Rupskin. I never had one of these. This actually came out in 1984, which was the same year that Van Halen's album, 1984, came out. And at that time, I was too old for a Teddy Rupskin. Didn't mean I didn't want one, but I was too old for one, so I did never have one. This is my first one right here. It's in pretty bad shape. Someone left the batteries in here and they're completely corroded and everything is corroded. Uh, just looking at this, I have no idea really how you get into this. Other than back here, I see a few screws, but how do you get up into here? Not really sure. Kind of interesting. Guess we'll find out. I'm sure other people have done videos on this, but it's never gotten the old Randy Rain go. So let's give it a shot. Okay, I guess I can get rid of these. That one was like stuck to it. So there's two screws here. And there's two screws up here. And that's all I see. did pop out. Interesting. Wow, look at there. Look at that. Look at all that. Okay, I've taken pictures of everything, so I should be able to unplug all this. It's nice that they did plugs. That was awful smart of them. I just wonder how you get up in here. What do you got going? You really have to take his whole head off? How did they do it? It's all machine sewn. There it is down there. Alright, looking down in here, if I remove this piece of foam, you can see a plug where it gets connected into the head mechanics here. And that's it. That's There's no other physical connection other than the material. And so there's a motor and gears and all kinds of stuff up here in this head that I don't see how you can get to non-destructively. I don't see how they did it either. So the only option I see would to be cut here to open its brain up here. Because you could cut the stitching here. Probably get inside there from here. You should be able to and remove the stuffing here. Because I can feel the box behind it and then this could easily be sewn back up but before I do that I'm going to take my favorite CLR bath kitchen stuff here and on this set those aside so while that's doing that thing Go ahead and have a look here. I see a belt, of course, down here in the tape player. And I'm sure that's worn out. Even if it's not, I'm going to replace it because I have several belts. Out of all the belts I have, there's got to be one that will work.
What exactly do those screws do? This thing pop out this way? Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Well, that is in the way. How in the world? Well, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The only way to get this door in there would this would have to be gone. And it could slide down and out past here. It would have to pass this way, but this piece right here, it has these things. That's blocking the mechanism. Can't get past this. It would like to come out this way, but it can't get past there. Can't go that direction. Can't come out this way. This seems like an after piece. And if that could come off, it looks like it's glued in. Yeah, so to get it out, I can see it's this piece right here. This piece, uh, if this piece came off, yeah, everything would come out. That's how it works right here, but this has been glued. Yeah, that's been fused, glued, something. You're not getting that off without breaking it. Okay, so if the mechanism is bad, the only way to get it out is to break this right here and replace it. So, but the belt does need changing. So I'm going to assume the mechanism and everything is working for now. And all it really needs is the belt. I, and if I do that... That other little screw. There it is. That gets the motor out. And here's the belt. Alright, with all these belts, surely I have one. Look at here. Alright, I want to focus my attention on it. this. The sticker thing here is just disintegrated, so I'm going to go ahead and just take it out. Alright, so I'll scratch it up. Give it another burst. Turn it upside down so it'll drain out. You can see I've been doing this one as well. All the chrome plating is rusting off of here. I'm getting closer. Let that let it soak a little more. So that's probably going to soak for a while. I guess it's time to move on to here. I probably should have looked it up online see if anybody's done this before, which I'm sure they have. There's probably some method I don't know about. Probably go, oh, you just use the cranial screw top method. Hmm. But what fun is that? You have to figure it out for yourself. This very much looks like it might have been sewn afterwards. So this may be how they get in here. 
Ah, yep, here's where they went in, right here. Here's the stitch. They stitched the ditch, right here. Well, I'm going to stitch a lot more ditch. Alright. Ripping the skin off of a teddy rub skin. inside. Looks like two motors. Okay, there's a little thing here, a little clip. I don't know what that does. I guess that allows that plug. I thought I was a plug. It's not a plug. Ah, look at that. <laughs> There you have it. Okay, so you have a motor here, and it's geared down, and it ended up running on this rubber wheel. This is rubber right here. And as it moves, it's going to make this mouth move open. And as the mouth move open, it pushes this up. Same thing here. As it turns, it's going to make the eyes move, rotate, so it looks like it's blinking. So the question is, how do you get into these motors? Because I'm sure the gears need to be changed. I like these springs thing. What's going on? It's like a, just kind of floating in there. It's like hinged right here. Will you pop out? You will. This is a potentiometer right here, so it knows where it's at. I'm guessing. Or it could be, it's three. That's what makes me think it's a potentiometer. Now I could take this off and that will get me to there, but I think I just want to take these off. But I got some glue here. That's gonna be broken. Alright, now this should That is a potentiometer, for sure, and it doesn't get me anywhere. Ah, it's a little belt. There's a little tiny belt in there. Get out. Well, that's crazy. That's gears. Well, there's definitely gears in there, too. Okay, I think I found a better way. Let's go ahead and push, open that potentiometer back up. Push it out here, because it's connected right here. There we go. Now this comes off. And there it is. So I mean there's a little belt in here. A little belt that just gears down. Well that's neat. Wonder how well this belt is. It's a tiny little belt. Hmm, I do have this one. It's the right size, I would imagine. This one sure is thinner. I suppose it would work. Let's see why not. 
Well, let's give it a shot. Let's put some power here, see what happens. Okay, so it's a pulley going to a pulley with a gear. And this gear, reducing down, reducing down, reducing down. Aha, uh -huh. it does only go so far. Ah, it has a stop to it. That's what I was... Okay. So I'm going to put it halfway right there. Put that there. I actually think the belt will work. There's all one way. There's the other way. There's that way. Okay. So that will work. If I put this back to here. Now, which way did it go? Okay, that's all the way that way. Okay, so it turned all the way this way. So that has to go in. Now, maybe if I just gonna put it in just enough to hold it. Okay, didn't quite go all the way. Try again. Okay. So what if I put that to there? way there. Okay, I can see where it's rubbing right here, where it's been rubbing all this time on this right here. So I'm guessing it went in. down where it was. Yep, that's about where it was, right there. Let's mash that into place. Okay, I have it turned all the way this way, which should be mouth closed. This can get popped back into place. How does this get in? There it goes. Let's see if I can make the mouth open. I think it's this direction that needs to go. Yep. There's the stopping point of there. Then the close. Okay, that one's working. Now this one. Let's, see, let's take these off first. If 
I'd do it the other way. Okay, that seems too far. Okay, that's open. I want the eyes opened. Eyes open. Yep, there's closed. And there's open. Okay, this is all corrosion free, but most of the chrome plating is gone. So what I'm going to do, or try at least, give this a sanding. Kind of need to do that to this down here. All the chrome was lost on this one. I think I need to put the head in now. But so now this thing pops into place. Somehow. And you get that in just like that. Through this little bitty opening. Okay. This is pretty disturbing. Uh, uh, not in there. Okay. Okay. I think I have to undo all this stitching. This is this red here is where they sew it up at the end. And so they sew it all the way up to here. So basically, if you don't know, this is called stitching the ditch. So there you have it, a working teddy rope skin. That's always a hard name to say, rub skin, rub skin. It's a dumb name anyway. But anyway, it works. So fix the battery corrosion. All the belts were in bad shape. The cassette one was definitely in bad shape. And the little, little ones up top, which was a surprise. They, I mean, they were, if you look at them now, they're still in the shape of a big pulley and a small pulley. So they needed it. And the motors had oxidized, so they needed a little help to get going and to run for a little while so that they worked again. And other than that, I guess that was pretty much it. That's what it needed. Everything else seems to be fine. But anyway, you want to see this thing working. All right, here we go.
So I wonder what's on the tape. Well, the only tape player I have other than this would be my Omnibot. So I put the tape into here and let's see how it sounds. Play. So it's this weird droning sound that controls it, which I wouldn't have guessed that. And I like how the mouth doesn't just open. It's not just open, close. It actually slowly moves. It sometimes goes fast and goes part ways because of the little potentiometer. It knows where it's at. And I guess that droning can program it to move in such different slight ways. It's actually pretty cool. But anyway, I don't want it. This is not my childhood. I was 15 years old when this came out. I just kind of wanted it just because it was cool, but I was too old for it. Anyway, if you want to help support this channel, this guy is in on eBay right now. So go check the link below and go to eBay. Throw a bid down on it. And if you like this video, hit the like. I want to thank these people right here. These are the patrons. These are people helping me out, allowing me to do this stuff like this so I can bring you this Teddy Rupskin, whatever it is. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video again, please hit the like and subscribe, all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, turn the page. Hey, Grubby, do you remember this song? Yeah, I sure do. Your friend.